We are going to take you guys all around St. John and show you a budget friendly way to travel around this island. This is a pretty expensive place to be. Um, we live in St. Thomas, as you may or may not know if you follow the channel. So we came over here for a little three day weekend for uh, her birthday. Happy late birthday. <laughs> and so we're going to, we'll show you where we're staying at. I'll tell you how much it costs. I'm going to do a budget. We'll show you how much we spent on the whole three days over here. We were three days, two nights. Mm -hmm. Uh, we went out to eat a couple times. We cooked here in our room a couple times to save a little bit of money. So we'll show you all about it and we're going to go snorkeling. We're going to tour around the island, go to a couple different beaches. Anything else? You're going to do some hiking. Okay. We've got, we're going to do a couple hikes. So we'll show you all about it, how you can do St. John on a budget and we'll, we'll show you how we did it. Get ready. Here it comes. Here comes our boat. Are you ready for an adventure? Yes. Okay, after a quick drive through Cruise Bay, then you'll come upon the Virgin Islands National Park sign. You follow this road up, and it brings you right up here to the Annenberg Ruins, where we found this cool guy playing his saxophone. He said the acoustics were just perfect in the round building. He loves to go there and practice. So I'm going to be quiet and just let you listen to him practice his saxophone while we tour through the Annenberg Estate Ruins. St. John Road's aren't for the faint of heart. I don't think you're gonna make it. Shit, I just told you. Oh, we saw the police. Look what she's doing. You have to wear a seatbelt, but you can also drink and drive. Okay, let's see if we can find a parking spot. Doesn't look promising.
our second attempt to come here and we couldn't find a parking spot the last time we were here. That's probably the better way to do it. Pay five bucks and get on that guy. Well, they just got a spot. I think last time people parked over here across the street, didn't they? said there was enough parking. Oh. Okay, what do you want to do? You match the sign. Oh. Okay. What? Oh, big old termite thing. We're at Maho Beach now. This is where you come to rent your paddle boards and kayaks and whatnot. Cold drinks. Today at Jeff Jeeps, we got a special going on here at the beach. We got gray ones, we got blue ones, we got red ones, we got orange ones. We got every color of Jeep you want. Here at Jeff Jeeps. Stopped at Maho Crossings and got a burger. That's where it used to live. Now it lives in here and in there. It was an $18 burger with no cheese or anything. It was just so so. Alright, how much did beers cost? Seven. Seven for beer, seven for cocktails. They have just a place that has a chicken sandwich, a burger, and hot dogs, and uh, they had a fish sandwich. The fish sandwich was 24 and the chicken sandwich was 15 and then there's a bar that has cocktails. So you go to one place to get your food, go to another place to get your cocktails. We got a little uh, trailer bathroom there. And there's another place to bring kayaks and yeah, there's... paddle boards and chairs, beach chairs. And... Yeah. And it's super cute. Like the vibe here is very ILD. Very cool. And they have giant connect floor. We just put that at one of our rental houses in Florida. I think people are gonna like that. So we like this place. We're gonna go to the beach now. Yeah. All right, we're it's gonna. Go. Oh yeah, this is a great place to see turtles. Look at the beach on a Saturday in May. What did you see smoke around? Turtle, turtle, turtle. Oh my god, that turtle I thought was the biggest turtle I've ever seen. It was bigger than both of us together. Look at the turtle. The sucker fish that was on it was as big as my leg. Don't care. <laughs> this 
just came from Maho and we're gonna go to Concordia. Over there, go spend a couple nights. Or over there. Or over there. It's somewhere <laughs> in this vicinity. South of Korea Bay. Donkey, we don't have any food for you. Are you sure it's on video? Yeah, it's recording. Welcome to Concordia Eco Resort. Okay, we just made it to Concordia, and this is our little cabin. I think they call it a suite. So we are in number 24. Take you in here and show you what it looks like. So, pretty simple, pretty basic. Mini fridge, microwave, sink, hot plate stove there, or uh, not a stove, but you get it, the idea. A couch, a lady. The lady does not come with it. And looks like maybe this is a queen bed. This is the security system for the back door. You have, if you need to know what to bring, there's two pans, two pots, enough silverware it looks like for four people. Uh, a couple glasses, four plates, four bowls. Pretty. Uh, here's towels. There is a normal shower. I know in some of the tents, they just had a hose. So, and there's a sink and a toilet. So that's it. Let's go outside and check out our view. Is this bad boy? I haven't even been out here yet. This is pretty nice. There's a salt pond there. This goes out to Ram's Head. Or on the end of the island here so you can see water all around. You can see up on the hill, this place got smashed by the hurricanes. And they're still getting some of these units back together. This is the first year that they've been open. So we wanted to try to come over here and support these, this business and check it out. We've never been here. So this is what they call a suite. They also have tents that are available. These are, I think, 139 is the normal price online. I have, uh, I don't care, beach hair. We've been already snorkeling and stuff today. We went to Maho. Uh, so it does have air conditioning in the room. There is a ceiling fan. Um, and most importantly, we thought it had Wi-Fi, and now that we've checked in, it said most of our rooms have Wi-Fi, so we're not sure if we have Wi-Fi here or not. So they have tents, and they have what they call suites, and this is the suite. We paid $125 because there was a special offer. Uh, when we call them, they actually said that it's cheaper to go online and book it than to book it directly through these guys. I never understand this with hotels. But when you call them, they can't give you a better price than what's online because there are online booking fees. So we looked on Airbnb and we looked on booking.com and the best deal was on booking.com. Airbnb, I think, was like $10 a night cheaper than if you would have booked directly through the uh, Concordia Eco Resort. So we did book it through booking and we thought about booking one night in the suite and one night in the, in the tent just to compare. But after sitting on the beach today, it was pretty hot. I'm glad we have the AC and the air conditioning. So, I don't know, we'll be here for two nights. I'll keep you updated on our thoughts and our weekend. 
So I did pay for this myself. They didn't uh, comp this to me or anything for my, my YouTube fame and uh, status. So this I'm paying for this with my own money. So you're going to get an honest review on what this place looks like. Obviously, I want this business to do well because they've been suffering because of the hurricanes. But I'll show you what it looks like and I'll show you what I think of it. The Wi-Fi is working here now. You have oh. to sign in. So we do have Wi-Fi? We do. You have to sign in like you do in an airport or any other hotel, like with your name and your email and all that. Um, and it's working here. I don't know if I go inside, it's going to work or not, but it's working pretty well here. You could be picking up the office from here, too. Maybe. That is the that office right down there. It says that it works the best by the office and the pool, but it works very well here. Okay. So we at least have it Wi-Fi on the porch. Okay, a decision has been made. It's our first night here. Instead of going to get dinner, we're going to eat the snacks that we brought with us for the dinner, and we are going to hike out here to Ram's Head Trail. We're going to go down and then through around this salt pond back here, and then back up over here to a cliff, I believe, that's going to look out. There's Drunk Bay over here, and then I, I'm not sure what the name of this one is on this side. This is Drunk Bay over here. So we're going to go check it out, and you're, I'm going to bring you with me. Come on. So there is our cabin that we're staying in, in Concordia. The rest of the cabins go up the hill this way. We parked at the Salt Pond Trailhead and just walked like five minutes down the trail. This is a really nice beach. They got picnic tables all along here. There was a bathroom at the entrance right there that you can barely see from here. There are six or eight mooring balls in here. Uh, this is a nice beach, white sand. We just, uh, we just saw some people carrying out buckets of salt that they dug up from the salt pond back here. So you can come back here and dig up your own sea salt. Mm -hmm. So, less than a mile to Ram's Head from here. And then Drunk Bay. This is going to be the salt pond right here. So if you want to get your own salt, this is like less than a 10 minute walk. Look at that. Pure salt. Bet you float good in there. The one time that we're hiking to a beach without our cooler and without some beers, what beach are we going to? <laughs> Drunk Bay. And we're going to Drunk Bay without any alcohol. This must be some sort of Virgin Island sacrilege. Look at all the salt here. My hands feel super uh, like greasy from touching the salt over there. channel this morning. But boy, they're taking it to another level here at Drunk Bay. They're all little people. Look at this guy.
So here's a better view of Concordia where we're staying at from the beach down here. They've got a public restroom and it's just like a five minute walk from the from the trailhead that says Salt Pond right to this little beautiful beach. Okay, so we're doing how to travel to St. John Cheap. So, so I say in the, on the bus, inexpensively. Oh. <laughs> what? No, no, don't do that. What is it? Oh, no. No, you gotta put it where the mouth can't go. You can go anywhere. I think we told people to remember the things. Not in my life. No. <laughs> oh, I recorded the whole time. Okay, so we're doing how to travel to St. John on a budget. So here we got our macaroni and cheese going on the little stove, if you can call it that. This one wouldn't get the water boiling, so we had to put it on the big one. So we're sort of learning by doing. We got a bottle of wine. Luckily, we brought our own wine glasses because they don't have wine glasses. I just put the food up here because the mouse just ran in that crack right there. And now somebody doesn't think that we're going to be able to sleep here now. But we'll be okay. You going to be all right? No. <laughs> it was just a little, he was like no, this big. No, 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 no. We just saw a little mouse. So, I got the perfect solution. We brought food in this Arctic cooler with a zipper. Bing, bang, boom, zipped up. Mouse, uh, mouse repellent, mouse free. What's the word? Anyway, mouse proof, that's it. For every solution, there's a problem. <laughs> For every problem, there's a solution. Macaroni and cheese dinner B roll. <laughs> Salud. 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 Okay, this video is getting pretty long. I didn't expect the first day of our trip to St. John to go this long in the video. So remember, if you want to know how to beat, this is how to beat. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please do that. I'm going to break the other pieces of what we did on this trip into smaller little videos, uh, but you get the gist of what happened. Uh, $125 a night to stay at the Concordia. That's $250 for the two nights that we stayed. $65 for the ferry ride over. That's $315. We did a dinner the second night we were there. That was probably like $60, $75. That puts us about $400. Bucks. And then we did another uh, lunch or dinner before we got the ferry on the way back. So three days, two nights in St. John, under $500. We brought all of our own beer with us and wine and dinner for two nights. We brought all of our own snacks. We brought wine and everything. So you can do St. John on a budget. This is how we did it. If you want to see some of my other things that we did, I mean, you get the idea. We snorkeled. We went to the beach. Uh, we had a great time. We saw ruins. So I'll put links down below of the other beaches and some of the other snorkeling that we did so you can see what we did. But this is how to do St. John on a budget, and this is how to beach. Give me a thumbs up and check out my other videos. Thanks for watching.